Time to go in. Here we go. The moment we've all been waiting for, boys. Well, I promised to meet Elisa here. Should I head inside and wait already, though? I think I'm here kind of early. Turn the dormitory and talking with their chosen character will cause the main story to advance. I'm pretty sure I've done everything. Let's go. This is it. Come on, give me something good. I have been waiting for this ship for so long. Class 7 dormitory. Oh, we got the music. Sorry oh. for the wait, Rain. Ah, oh, there she is. Oh, hey, Elisa. I only just got here, actually. All done catching up with the rest of the lacrosse club? Yeah, it was great to be back with them, but I think we've done enough celebrating for the time being. Plus, um, Ferris ended up giving me a few friendly words of advice, too. It's kind of hard to say no to a girl who keeps insisting a lady ought to not keep a gentleman waiting, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sounds like her, all right. That does sound like Ferris, if I remember correctly from the first game. Uh, anyway, <laughs> never mind her. It really does feel strange to be back here in our old dormitory. In a good way, of course. As soon as I stepped through the doors, all the memories of the times we spent together here came flooding back. Yeah, same here. It's been a long time coming, but we finally made it. I remember in the first game when she was so upset at us, and she was just absolutely just enraged. It was hilarious, and now how it's such, it's done a 180. Well, while we're here, do you want to walk around inside for a bit? I'm curious how things are upstairs, too. Sure, why not? I love how it just puts Reen's sword on the wall, even though he has it with him. Blood holes. It's funny how time works, isn't it? It's only been a couple months since we were last here, and yet I feel like it's been years. I guess that just goes to show how much of a mark the time we spent here has left on us, though. Every room. Every corridor has a memory attached to it. Just one look and I suddenly remember it all like it was yesterday. You know, I guess that's true. I just wish Crow were here with us to share this feeling. It doesn't feel quite right without him. I wish you were here too. He's as much a part of Class 7 as the rest of us. Give it time though. Next thing you know, he'll be right here reminiscing with us. You really never change, Reen. It was clear from the moment we met. You were someone who really cared for others. And you're as kind now as you were then. You are our leader. Always tirelessly looking out for every member of the group and putting our needs before your own. We're so grateful for all you've done. And that goes double for me. <laughs> hey, Reen. <gasps> Do you still remember our first day at the Academy? Our first day? <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't forget that. What can I possibly forget? First, we bumped into each other outside the station because I was so taken by the Lino flowers. And then that happened. I'd love to tell you I've done what you asked and forgotten, but that's just plain not possible. Sorry about that. I should have known. Then again, who am I to talk? It's such an embarrassing memory, I doubt I'll ever be able to forget it. And the part outside the station was the most picture-perfect way to meet you, too. Then we both had to go and ruin it. I really am sorry about what happened, though. Just so we're clear on that. <laughs> In a strange way, though, it kind of worked out for the best. Afterward, I just kept thinking about what happened over and over again. One girl's thinking about you. It's a good sign, even if they're mad. And before I knew it, I couldn't get you out of my head. 
risk getting seriously injured just to protect me from harm. That left a real impression on me. I kept wondering, why? Why would you do that? What kind of person must you be? Next thing I knew, I found myself watching you from afar. I was so curious about every little thing you did. And the more I learned about you, the more I wanted to know. I wanted to find out how you saw the world around you and how you were able to live so true to yourself. You know, you were always on my mind too. You've always been hardworking with all the pride of a noble and a strong competitive streak. But I think what stood out to me the most was how considerate you are of others and how you always put them before yourself. All the time you say you were thinking about me, I was probably thinking about you too. To be honest, you've been on my mind ever since our picture-perfect meeting, as you put it. <laughs> really? During the past few weeks and months, I've gotten to know more and more about what makes you the person you are. The two of us have had so many long talks about finding our own paths through life, or about deciding how we want to live. How about we make those paths one? Somewhere along the line, I found myself hoping that between whatever you decided, Whatever I decided, the paths we chose for ourselves would eventually meet and become one, so we could walk side by side. Nailed it! Does that mean? I love you, Elisa. Yes! 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 I have been waiting for this for like a hundred hours of gameplay here. And no matter what happens you decide to do with your life even if our paths one day end up parting and we have to go our separate ways my feelings for you will never change Rain. yes 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 <laughs> if it weren't for you I'm not sure I would have ever found the courage to find a path for myself at all I was only able to because of how much your determination inspired me how it made me want to struggle on, just like you do. And I... I love you too, Reen. I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm feeling kind of embarrassed now. I've got a lot of memories of this place already. I think this one might leave the strongest impression of all. <laughs> so am I. I can't see my face, but I think it's safe to say it's redder than it was at the old schoolhouse. But I'll never forget this moment. No matter what happens, I won't forget. No matter what hardships I might end up facing, I'll just have to think of you. And I'll be strong enough to overcome them. And the same goes for me, too. I've got no idea if I really deserve someone as good as you. There's still so much I don't know about myself, but I do know that I want you by my side, now and in the future. Whatever may happen, Elisa, I hope we'll be able to find a path we can share with one another. I hope so too. Ship has been achieved, boys. I have waited so long for something like that to happen. I knew it was going to happen inside Valimar. I knew that was going to be too cheesy. Well worth the wait. 1500. <laughs> Just keep going. Level 7 link. Overdrive 2? Ooh. -woo. Nice. There we go. The final operation. Here we go. After about 30 minutes of dialogue, we actually get to the game. Just kidding. Another more 10 minutes of dialogue. Oh, is that his new sword? Is it done? Ooh, I like that. This is amazing. You really were able to forge Valimar a new Tati from Zemurian Ore. 
back. Of course I was. It's a massive weapon totaling over seven odds in length. Its uncommon shape made refining and processing the ore exceedingly difficult, to say the least. But it was done. I doubt we'll be able to do it, if not for the help of a stubborn old student of mine over there. You're the least... You're the least qualified person on this entire continent to call anyone else stubborn. <laughs> yeah, I'm... I'm with you, I'm with you, instructor. It sure was a shock to learn that you were also a former student of Professor... of the Professor's Instructor, Makarov. I've heard you were once a student at the Ruhr Institute of Technology, but I never connected the dots. And that's how I preferred it, too. Oh, that was a long, long time ago. I'll never be able to fathom why the two of you chose not to stay and study more under me. The offer still stands, however. I know talent when I see it. Oh, I couldn't possibly. I doubt I have half the talent to keep up with you. Give it to him straight, George, or I won't get through that <laughs> near impenetrable skull of his. Come on. You go insane if you have to spend years working with an arrogant, self-centered prick like him. Dang! Dang! Still, what a beautiful blade it is. The radiance of it is simply dazzling. Ain't nothing out there like Sumerian ore. It's probably not as sharp as something a real swordsman would make, though. None of us are smiths by profession, but Valimar should find it easier to use than any we weapon he could have taken from a soldat, and that's what counts. All right, then, let's give it a try. Oh, it looks so cool. Wow. They're resonating with one another. They sure are. Oh, yes. Crow, you're going down, boy. How beautiful. It truly is astounding. You look so cool, Valimar. I'm not sure what's happening, but it's amazing, all right? I think we finally have a chance. Feedback process with a new armament complete. I do indeed feel this is easier to wield than previous armaments. <laughs> Good. I'm glad to hear it. You think this'll do the trick? Yep, I had the high expectations, but this shattered them. I think I finally stand a chance against him now. Professor Smith, Instructor Makarov, George, thank you all so much for what you've done. Save your thanks. I did only what I did to satisfy my curiosity. Whatever you do now that I'm done is of no concern to me. <sighs> He's not being modest either, Reen. He totally means that. This is how he is. Same deal with the railway gun, the soldats, and the horrible jamming device. As soon as his work is done, he loses interest completely and is off to find something else to do. Ha! <laughs> something wrong with that? Uh, the professor. All that said, I think the preparations are now finally complete. Yes, sir. I think it's about time to go and get everyone. <laughs> oh, the fated moment has finally arrived. The current time is 0630 hours. Everyone should gather here again at 0730 hours. Make sure you're all wearing what I gave you earlier, too. Right. So do we get a quick, quick time to finalize our gear and stuff, I assume? How much more dialogue is it going to be? Nope, 7.50. We're late. She said 7.30 hours. Whoa, well, we got an army. Instructor Sauer, Instructor Thomas, Instructor Makarov. We leave them in We leave them in your capable hands. Under, Under Oh, I didn't realize it was in a dialogue. We'll take good care of them. 
just leave them to us. Students of Thor's Military Academy. I'm sure most of you remember what was once imparted to you during your respective welcoming ceremonies. Arise, O oh youth, and become the foundation of the world. These are the words of Emperor Dracos, the man who entered the War of the Lions and founded this very academy. I ask you to consider what the world he refers to is and what qual qualities one must possess to be its foundation. I imagine that you each had your own thoughts in response. However, I ask that you not make the mistake of assuming that foundation is synonym, synonymous with sacrifice. I believe that this, that it is by walking side by side with others, opening up a path and treading down it, that one does this. As such, I have but one very simple message for each and every one of you to remember. Return alive, welcome spring's arrival with one another, and then the time comes, fly the nest with one another. And to that end, I wish you victory! Oh, turn termination slash dawn. Yeah, Ring got his new S craft now. Sweet. We got a date, new S craft, new sword for Valamar. Boys, we sitting pretty high right now. Surface air temperature is five degrees, humidity thirteen percent. There is a north northwesterly wind blowing at eleven APH. And coming messages from both the 3rd and 4th Armor Divisions. They're past the Schwartz, Drake, Barry, and Trista, moving into formation around 100 cells from Heimdall. Main cannons and secondary armaments are good to go. We're ready for battle at any time. All orbital engines are operating nor normally. All crew members present and accounted for. We're ready to begin the operation on your command. Understood. Sounds like we all we are all ready to go. Still, it doesn't look like we're going to be hearing anything from Prince Ol Oliver. Indeed, there's been no word from Father either. They probably got their hands full in the West. It started to get really hectic here, there, from what I've heard. I've asked Mick to try and get in contact with Toval, but I'm not banking on him succeeding. That's too bad. It would have been great to have them here too. There's no point in lamenting what we don't have. Right. All we can do is make the best out of our current situation. Yep, I'm with them. Still, the battle doesn't begin until midday. We've still got time. If there's anything you want to take care of, now's your chance. Anything spring it to mind? Now that you mention it, Toe, are you are there any requests for us to take care of? There are, in fact. Hold on a minute while I get them up. We have more requests and it's battle day? Are you kidding me? We have Oh, uh, we have we have four? Oh jeez. Okay. Well, of course we do. When we speak to serpents, but well, read the this is Major Vandar, paying no attention to the prince. They just kill a monster. <laughs> yeah, what's the prince say? When we speak of serpents, what's which bring to mind? But the fell joy. Uh, I bring out the party. Oh my gosh. East Celtic Highway near a cliff in the far north. Uh, of course. There was once a woman from Ruhr. When I saw her, I wanted to woo her. She gave me a slap when I sat in her lap. Now I have one lover fewer. Oh, I love composing. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's another monster. Okay. Or by Nord Hills, okay. Oh, these are just all monster quests. Okay. Monster, Ymir Valley, deepest area. So we've got Ymir, Nord Highlands, Section Mountain Path. Okay, these are all just monster quests. That should be pretty easy. Huh, I think we can handle these. Right, none of them seem like they would be take too long. Whether you do them or not, it's totally up to you. We're getting ready for the battle should be top priority. I know you've gotten up the hang of reporting to Prince Oliver, but seeing as we can't contact him, you can just report to me. 
This might be the last chance you have to get maintenance done on your orbits too. See if you need anything, let me know. We will, thank you. There's, there's no such thing as being too prepared for this. The finale forward relentlessly. Ooh. Speak to toe in the captain's chair. It's like to commence operation. This is the last time so you'll be able to board the Courageous. After the beginning of the operation, it will no longer be possible to take advantage of its utilities or visit other towns. All quests and sub-events will also disappear. Trial tests will become permanently unavailable. Well, you will have another chance to buy items, quartz, and the like. This will not be for some time. Okay. Rena is still a weakling. Okay. We want a powerhouse. We're taking Sarah. Actually... Alisa, by her side. Then, let's see. Laura, Elliot. Yeah, we'll go for the powerhouse here. Because I like Elliot because of his healing abilities. Confirm selection. There we go. This is a pretty powerful squad we got going right here. 1933. We still have the highest strength. Barely more than Laura, though. Elliot <laughs> has a thousand. Oof, that's pretty bad, actually. Yeah, Elliot's pretty weak, but he, he's our healer. Okay. Well. Probably should, no, not note. System. Save. We got a ways to go now. Actually, didn't... Didn't we get a new thing? Yes, the aura jacket, too. Ooh, I did lose 25 strength. Oh, but I do get... I think that's probably worth it. Yeah, I think I need that, bet, that defense and lose a tiny bit of strength. But I think what I'll do real quick is I'm going to go to the... Up, see if there's a new, a better weapon for us to purchase, real quick. Didn't mean to talk. Dang, okay, so that's all the same. Yeah, we need more money, too. Dang. Okay, well. Oh, dang. Nice. Well, so we have pretty much, like, everyone coming with us, then. Back to the bridge. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut real quick, defeat all the monsters, level up our characters, and come back, because... I... We just need to get to this mission. And it's just be, basically just gonna be level grinding. It's pretty much the entire thing is gonna be. So we're gonna defeat all the monsters, and then I'll be back shortly. <laughs>